Welcome everyone to Liberty Benton High School. It is a great evening for a girls basketball showdown as the OG Lady Titans square off with the Liberty Benton Eagles. Kevin Peel, Mark Shine with you in the booth. Thanks for joining us. Off we go here. And an opening basket right off the jump from Lindsey May who glides in. The junior gets things going for LB. Set play off the tip. Tip goes sideways, lob pass over the defense. Two points, Eagles. Yeah, good Two looking three zone. Good looking basket to start off. Of course, today's scoreboard is sponsored by Finley Truck and RV, your complete automotive experience at competitive prices. And of course, we'll mix in some replays as well here today. Ottawa Glandorf in the visiting attire, moving right to left as you watch it in this opening quarter. And in the home whites, the Eagles here today. Liberty Benton four and one on the season, OG four and oh. Each team have a win in conference play from last week. With them one and oh in their respective leagues. And this shot slightly altered. Katie Kaufman was falling to her right into the lane and partially blocked. New basketball coach here at the Liberty Benton. They were not the basketball coach anymore. It's Chad Lieb now. And here's a three. That one rattled out from the corner. A good look for Lauren Gherkin, the senior. And of course, future Bowling Green Falcon couldn't get that three to go. And a foul called on the Eagles. And Addie Crow picks up her first foul. And Lauren T1. Gherkin and Addie Crow each have 10 made three point field goals in their first five games. Strong start, of course, for both these teams. LB knowing they had a very difficult non-conference schedule, this being one of those games. Here at home against OG, of course, they used to be and still are very common tournament opponents against one another. And trying to rip that ball away. Good defense from Barbara. Sophia Barbara with the turnover forced there. And the Eagles will get the ball back. Ottawa Glandorf has just two seniors on their roster, one of whom is not playing due to injuries, Micah Altridge. So the only real senior getting playing time tonight is Katie Kaufman. That's a good one. First team all conference a year ago in the Western Buckeye League. But uh, not a very experienced team, at least as far as grade average or grade uh, position in school. Trying to force that ball down low. It's last touched by the Lady Titans. They were hoping to feed Lauren Gherkin inside for the layup. Of course, you will see lots of names of Ottawa Glendorf players who have played in past years. And here is Carson Erford, Kevin. Carson was a second team all-conference player a year ago in the Western Buckeye League as a freshman. This is her first action because she had a knee injury suffered in their first scrimmage of the year. Yeah, great to have her back. And meanwhile, five-second call on the Eagles. They'll turn it right back over. Good defensive pressure by the Lady Titans. That it was. A little bit of a slow start here. We're two minutes in. This has been a very solid zone from Liberty Benton so far. Not many looks. Megan Horseman kicks it to the corner. That's a three popped out. Would not stay down for Carson Erford on her first shot attempt. Two and a half minutes in, Eagles with the basketball. Of course, Ottawa Glendorf in their traditional man-to-man, -man, and they have been smothering so far themselves. Barbara, baseline cut, threw it up and in, plus the foul. That was Lindsey May who just tossed it up from underneath the basket, plus the contact. Yeah, knew the contact was coming, wanted to get the ball in the air and hopefully have a chance just to get to the free throw line, but instead, she's gonna get an and one opportunity as Olivia Grothaus enters. Wow, and Megan Horstman. Of course, the free throw sponsor for tonight, Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. That free throw wouldn't fall down for May. So the lead is 4-0 Kaufman, and she's blocked by Gherkin. Good defense there on Katie Kaufman, and Gherkin just threw it up the floor. Gherkin and Kaufman, boy, that is going to be a fun matchup all night long. Gherkin triggers the three, and it's good. And a big time start, a timeout taken by the Lady Titans. 4.50 to go opening quarter. 7-0 start for Liberty Benton. Thank you. 
Patty Crow. Now down low, wide open, can't get the layup to go, and it's out of bounds off Lindsay May. She may have been too wide open there, Mark, and missed the layup. Well, Emma Hooper made a really nice pass inside. Emma Hooper has some enormous statistics, averaging almost five assists per game. But more importantly, she averages three assists for every turnover, and that's a really, really high ratio number for a young lady to have. And yeah, going to be a huge part of today's game, at least the Eagles hope avoiding turnovers and distributing the basketball. Kaufman the jumper, and there come the Titans as Katie Kaufman knocks home the first points of this game. Got a little bit higher against the 2-3 zone. Gherkin was deeper to the basket, gave a room to score. Took four minutes for OG to get on the board, but they do. Barbara at the top. Switched up, they put Carly Brinkman now on Gherkin, and she posts up inside. And Kaufman the rebound off the Gherkin miss. Gherkin was alone there, but couldn't hit the short jumper. Inside drive, Gherkin the block shot on Brinkman. Swatted that one away, loose ball, Crow comes up with it. Now Hooper down the floor, Hooper step two off the glass, would not go down and Crow plowed into a Titan, that being Megan Horstman. Lauren Gherkin averages 2.8 block shots per game. She's got a couple already here in this quarter. And we're not quite five minutes into it. Seven to two advantage. That will be with the first seven in this game. Maybe a surprise, maybe not. But Coach Lieb certainly knows he has a talented group, that BBC winning streak, and of course the, the all the success they've had in the conference throughout the years. It's kind of hard for them to remember how long that winning streak goes just because it's been so lengthy. Batted that pass back, and again, tough to enter right now, that zone against this defense. The last time Liberty Benton did not win the Blanchard Valley Conference was 2016. Mm -hmm. Amazing Good run. Pass. And behind her, Lindsey May takes it away. This speed up the floor for May and lays it in. And a big time start for Lindsey May. Six points, three for four from the field. She got out, ran everybody to the goal. This zone is so effective, we'll have a chance to, to discuss some of the reasons why. But part of it is their size and their length. When you can go 5'11", 6'2", 6'1", 5'9", across the back line, you've got great size and great length. You throw in the very active 5'6", Emma Hooper on the top of it. It's blocked out again. Five. We're going to get a foul. Yep, block, but a foul. That's correct. Good looking drive there, and Brinkman was able to induce that contact and she'll head to the Lee's famous recipe chicken free throw line. The block and the foul. Was, was clean, high, but got some body action down low, hence the foul call. And a free throw coming up and it falls down for Brinkman. And that may be one way to counter this effective defense to start, get a couple players in foul trouble, such as Gherkin. Certainly bodes well for the Titans after a rough start here on the road. Brinkman just one out of two. She's an 86% foul shooter before tonight, so that's a rare miss for her. And this ball on the deck. Good effort there from Savannah Wrecker. But that's off her and out of bounds. See Coach Yant continually bringing new people in. Almost a new body or two at every whistle, trying to keep fresh players on the floor. And he's looking for the right combination offensively, too. Matt Carson Erford was in earlier in the quarter. Then out, now back in. Logging those first minutes since the opening scrimmage of the season. Tried to force a pass, taken away. Up the floor, good look ahead. And a layup there for OG as Caitlin Kimmett has her first points. Really nice job of feeling the pressure from Lauren Gherkin from behind her and letting her run by so she could gather herself and score. OG is five of the last seven after LB started with the first seven points of the game. Tried to force that pass, Barbara recovers. The Eagles may be a little sloppy on this end of the floor. 
Last couple possessions, and there's a steal. Good effort from Erford. Erford up the floor, lays it in. Carson Erford, her first points, and that brings the OG faithful to their feet. Happy to see her back on the floor after missing. She gave another turnover. There's the pressure. Wrecker with the steal, down low. And a little contact, no call, not a block, but it's gonna be a foul. As OG has made this a helter-skelter pace, the foul on Lindsey May. Well, they've forced four turnovers here in this quarter. This is an LB team that averages just 10 turnovers per game, so they're above their average because of the defensive pressure. And Kimmon up to three points now. OG on a run late in this quarter, really flipping a switch. Timeout did him some good. They were down 7-0, and they've got it tied up. Kimmon is four of the nine Titan points. And tied for the first time since 0-0. There's a 6-1 Lauren Gurkin able to handle the ball against pressure. She averages two and a half assists per game. Gurkin calling for it, but great defense from Kimmett making the catch difficult. Right back to her, Gurkin decides to shoot the three and airball it, out of bounds. Going back to Ottawa Glandorf with 19.2 remaining in the quarter. Coach Lee thought the ball was touched. He said, when you're going to Bowling Green State University, you don't airball three balls. <laughs> no, but uh, officials didn't see the way Coach saw it, and it's going to go as an out of bounds situation and a rebound, a dead ball rebound to Ottawa Glandorf. Going to play under the uh, leadership of Fred Shamil, that Falcons program now former South Carolina assistant coach. That's a pretty good program. Yeah, absolutely. South Carolina's playing at Bowling Green next week. Good and down low, Katie Kaufman. Now four points, first lead of the game for OG comes right at the end of the opening stanza. We're through one here at LB, 11-9 Titans on WOSM. Today's scoreboard sponsored by Finley Truck and RV, your complete automotive experience at competitive prices. 11-9, Titans in the lead. Mark, what are we looking at? Stat well, from two-point range, each team shot 50% in the opening quarter. Ottawa Glandorf was four for eight, Liberty Benton three for six. OG missed both of their three-point field goals. LB was one for three. OG three or four from the free throw line, Liberty Benton 0 for one. The rebounding by one went to Ottawa Glandorf, six to five, but Liberty Benton turned it over four times. OG just twice. Kaufman, oh, nice up and under move. Couldn't quite finish. And Barbara rips away the rebound. Eagles on the run. Down low pass and good close there from Kimmett to knock that one away. As May appeared to be open under the basket. Both teams have defensive rebounded very well. There's only one offensive rebound in the basketball game, and that is by Ottawa Glandorf. Eagles already had a five-second count in that opening quarter, so they were trying to rush that basketball in. Gherkin at the top here, guarded by Kimmett. Kimmett has done a fantastic job neutralizing Gherkin, who's just one for four in that opening quarter from the field. Barbara needs to get rid of it, and lofted it. Kimmett the steal. Yeah, she cut her off that time, and Gherkin gave up on the play, hence the steal. Turnover back the other way. Yeah, Kaufman a little bit out of her reach and then tried to save it in. And it's a turnover for the Titans. Tonight's instant replay sponsored by Structure Outdoor Ohio by Alts. Let Structure Outdoor Ohio bring your indoors out. Gherkin up the floor on this next possession, LB. After that seven nothing burst to start the game has really cooled off. Turnovers have taken over. Down low catch for Gherkin, but couldn't quite receive the basketball. Nice move, and the floater falls through for Emma Hooper, her first points of the game. Good job of taking the ball to the goal. You play on the perimeter too long, and passing lanes get clogged. Took the ball right to the rim. OG working it around the perimeter. 
Now Kaufman thought about giving it to Wrecker, lost it. And then tied up and fouled there by Megan Horstman. And that's going to be her second foul in this opening half. And Kaufman frustrated with herself. She spun the lane and just mishandled her dribble, something she rarely does. And frustrated with herself, then her teammate committed the foul. Of course, we're in reset fouls now, so that's just the first of the quarter. Olivia Grothaus will get her first action here for the Titans, not playing extraordinarily deep, of course, with the injuries to Kaylin Grothaus and Micah Aldrich. Uh, the depth not quite there for Coach Yant and Carly, his Titans. Carly Brinkman has now gone and picked up Dirk, and there's a nice give and go play. Great play, and Cora DeHart, the freshman, lays it in. She's going to be a special player. That she is. Averages nine points a game. Brinkman. Thought about the three, and that one clanged off to the Eagles. Miss from deep. Brinkman now 0 for 4 from the field. Keep Brinkman guarding Gherkin way out on the floor now. Gherkin and went down, did Brinkman defensively, and an easy finish there for Gherkin. Yeah, backed him down, and when her defender lost her balance, used her size, and was able to leap over and score. Hoffman goes down. She was fouled. Let's see who got that. And that's going to be DeHart. Corey DeHart has now gone to play against Katie Kaufman in the low post. He's never matched up that way in the zone. With a 6 2 DeHart in the game that moves Kirk into a wing defensively. Tough shot from Kaufman and could not glass it in. Katie Kaufman, two for her first six from the field. The Eagles starting to find their rhythm now, up four. A 6-0 spurt for the Eagles. Five minutes left in the half. Tried to get it down low to Gherkin, but good contest, and then stolen by Kaufman. Can she save it in? She cannot. It'll stay on this end. Tipped the ball towards the sidelines, just couldn't hang on to it long enough to put back into the game. Lindsey May to throw in the basketball. Cooper into the backcourt to retrieve. Crow set the screen, now she's left alone. Three ball, good for Crow. That's her 11 for three of the season. She set the screen and flared to the corner. And when they doubled up Hooper, another assist for her. She found an open teammate in the corner. Game of runs. Deep three and the answer. Splashed in by Kimmett, who has seven points. Their first made three-point field goal in four attempts for the Titans. That stopped a 9-0 run for the Eagles. This had been a game of runs. LB, the 7-0 run. OG answered with a 9-2. And now, a 9-0 run. Gherkin the three, and knocks it down, and a fist pump for Gherkin, and she has eight. Set play, she goes as if she's gonna post up inside, then she comes off a screen at the top of the circle. Perfect time and good form on her jump shot. Kaufman into DeHart. Tough defense, nowhere to go, gave it up. Fakes the three, drives inside, Brinkman glassed it in. And that's the first field goal for Brinkman. Three points for her in this game. Really good show and go that time for Carly Brinkman, who averages eight a game. 21 to 16, the offense is picking up. Crow, down low for Gherkin. And knows she has the height advantage. Long two-point jumper left short. Quickly up the floor, OG trying to push. Brinkman gave it back. This is a three in the air and through for Carson Erford. Knocks down a triple, and she is up to five points. And Carson making an instant impact in her first game. It feels like the first four minutes of each quarter goes the way of LB, and the second, getting a timeout. The second four minutes goes the way of Olive Adams. And a quick timeout here at LB. 21 19, Eagles in the lead on WOSN.
WOSN Scores app is new and improved. Download the brand new app from your app store so you don't miss any of your favorite team scores. The new WOSN app replaces the old app, so make sure you download it today and stay up to date on all the scores around the area. Well, this is a very exciting score right now. Mark, the intensity picking up and the offensive execution picking up here in the second quarter. That was a really nice set of uh, three-point three goals back-to-back -back by Ottawa Glandorf. Cut the lead to two. Finding a seam in the zone to make both of them, one from the top of the circle, one from the wing. Second time the Eagles have created some separation in the OG Titans with the answer. They get another steal here. They're going to, uh, no, can't tie the game. Missed the layup, Gherkin lobs it up ahead. And now LB will try and settle into the offense. That would have tied the game. A layup from Savannah Wrecker. Now a walk down low. Trying to go into two Titans was Lindsey May. Wrong decision. Eighth turnover for Liberty Benton as she overpenetrated that time. And you saw the defense double up. Yeah, credit to the Titans putting the Eagles in tough spots and tons of turnovers in this first half. And for a moment, the action slows. Kaufman inside into DeHart. Got it back. Blocked again. DeHart with a couple misses, then she's fouled. DeHart, the defense on Kaufman. DeHart's got a couple of block shots in there. Some contact, perhaps, but muscled up through it and picked the ball out of bounds. Not many fouls in the basketball game with 2.03 to go. Lindsey May now with two fouls as well for LB. That's important to note. Lob it out to Kaufman. Lindsey's probably done for this half as she gets a sub off the bench. And has those two fouls. Had a solid first half, six points, three for four from the field. Sophia Barber hopped up off the bench to replace her, and she's been pretty patient right here. And I'll be content to let OG run some time here. All the way down, we'll see. We got 90 seconds to yeah. go, we'll see. You know, while we're doing this, December 29th is going to be a big day here yeah. in this gymnasium. They're going to name the court after Steve Willman, a long time and very successful basketball coach here at Liberty Benton. I've known Steve news. for a long, long time. He was coaching at Gallium when I was coaching at Bellevue. And <laughs> then he came here and had some just outstanding seasons. So quite an honor. We're going to name the basketball court after him here on December 29th. Big ceremony that evening. And Hopefully all the Liberty Benton fans will come out and support that. And no pressure. So they're going to let this run down. And after a very intense middle portion of this quarter with tons of offensive execution, Slowing it down for the last two minutes. The Titans will, and they're going to take a timeout. Coach Yant will. 23.9 seconds remaining in the half. A quick 30 second timeout allows us to remind you that Lee's famous recipe chicken in Lima, Wapak, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's famous recipe chicken. Sponsor of the free throws tonight, and where home style happens here. Both of these teams have league games on a Thursday night. Wapak Canetta will be at Ottawa Glandorf, second league matchup for those uh, the WBL schools. Likewise, the Blanchard Valley Conference will be in their second round on Thursday night. And that means Arlington will be here to play on Thursday evening. Ladies League's able to get a couple of games in before the Christmas holidays. This is what they chose to do coming out of this timeout. Yeah. They wanted to run. Certainly a solid tune-up before going back into league play on Thursday, this non-conference matchup. The timeout allowed Erford to get back into the game. Of course, she stroked the three the last time she was on the floor. Inside yet. Now they feed it to Kaufman. Help defense. Kaufman 
gets her miss back, and she's fouled and going to the line. So Katie Kaufman banging inside. Great job earning the rebound back. And DeHart the foul. And DeHart picked up her second foul. If she makes these free throws, Coach Yant got just what he wanted out of that timeout and ended the game for end the half situation. A couple of subs coming in for the defense. And Kaufman misses the free throw. Looks like a three for five start for OG at the line. Hoffman makes one of two. She's been a 50% free throw shooter on the season and just did that. Lob it into Crow. She's just going to let the second and a half go off. And Liberty Benton will head to the half at home with a lead over Ottawa Glandorf. The score is 21 to 20 on the Finley Truck and RV scoreboard. We'll come back with some reaction from this first half. Some stats in a moment on WOSN. On the Finley Truck and RV scoreboard at the half, Liberty Benton leads Ottawa Glandorf in this non-conference girls basketball clash, 21 to 20. And I'm sure uh, my partner Mark has a couple stats that he wants to look into from the first half of play. Yeah, we do. Ottawa Glandorf did not shoot the ball as well in the second quarter from the two-point area as they did in the first. First quarter, they were four for eight. In the second quarter, they were just one of seven from two-point range. That makes them five of 15 for the game. Liberty Benton is six of nine from two-point range. But OG heated up a little bit from the three-point line. They're now two of three there. Liberty Benton is three of six. Ottawa Glenner has made four of their six free throws. Liberty Benton is 0 for one. OG has one more rebound, 10 to nine. They have four offensive rebounds. Liberty Benton does not have an offensive rebound in the game. Of course, they've shot the ball well. And and I have many opportunities in that area. Turnovers doubled up. Blue Benton has eight, and Ottawa Glendorf has four. And that's a look at some of your first half stats from this one. Eagles with the lead over the Titans. And Mark, what do you feel like is going to be the main difference in the second half? It's been a game of runs so far. Eagles hanging on to that one point lead. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly how to view what's going to happen in the second half because it's been so tightly played in the opening half. We saw brief flurries at the beginning of each quarter by Liberty Benton and OG catches up. Will that continue? I thought OG did a nice job of going inside to Katie Kaufman. Yes, she got a couple of shots blocked, but it caused the defense to collapse down inside. She scored a couple baskets herself, and that left open the three-point line as well. On the other hand, uh, Gherkin has eight points, but she's been very well defended. A couple of her teammates have stepped up and scored some points for her as well. So I, I think we've got a really balanced second half coming here. Looking forward to this one. Five points for Katie Kaufman, but two for nine from the field in that opening half. So she'll look to improve upon that. Second half is coming up in just a moment from LB as the Eagles lead the Titans 21-20 on WOSF. Today's scoreboard sponsored by Finley Truck and RV, your complete automotive experience at competitive prices. Happy to have girls basketball action for you on WOSN, the Ottawa Glandorf Lady Titans matching up with the Liberty Benton Eagles. Kevin Peel, Mark Shine with you in the booth. Second half underway. LB will move right to left as you watch it in this second half of play. They have the basketball, a one-point lead. It was 11-9 OG after a quarter, 21-20 here. So we start the second half. Kirkin, her first shot is offline. And of course, trying to rip the ball away on the deck. And it'll be a foul on the Titans. They're going for that loose ball, trying to corral it from Lindsey May. Really big fight by Lindsey May. Just ripped the ball away from an OG Titan, causing him to grab her arm. Good hustle. That becomes their first offensive rebound in the basketball game. Lob it in for Gherkin, who glasses home that jumper. Lauren Gherkin into double figures with 10. Solid out of bounds play. Lob it over the defense. Let her go off glass for a basket. Lee Benton stays in their 2 3 zone that 
Limited OG to 20 points in the opening quarter, just forced a turnover. Yeah, trying to get it down low to Kaufman and forced a difficult catch. And ultimately a turnover instead. Of course, OG with some of their players down, having to sometimes lean on their JV players. And of course, Coach Yant managing some minutes in the win over Fairview on Saturday. Because of that, Liv Grothaus with some key minutes in that game. Gherkin steps back and rattles home the jumper. That's a two for Gherkin. But she's off to a great start in this second half and up to 12 points. She's really got that down, didn't she? She creates just enough space with the step back, but then she's tall enough then to elevate over the defender and score. Titans swinging around the perimeter. One thing we've not seen, Kevin, neither team's had much in the way of runouts today. Not a lot of live ball turnovers that have been turned into transition baskets or long rebounds that have turned into transition baskets. Well, this one thrown behind Savannah Wrecker, but retrieved there by Brinkman. Wrecker can't shoot the three. Carson Erford not out right now for OG. Katie Kaufman is, though, and she lays one in. Really nice move and go to the goal with the left hand. Good quick first step. Seven points for Katie Kaufman. They lead trim to three. Gherkin goes to her right and around Kaufman to lay it in. Gherkin off to a hot start three for four in the second half from the field. And there's a double dribble there called on the Titans. It was so awkward it didn't surprise the official. Yeah. You know, you're allowed to fumble the ball and go pick it up, but then to dribble it again. And it's such an unusual play. It surprised the official. He's got a bit of a smile on his face. Correct call. Maddie Crow will bring it up the floor for LB. The leader in two point field goal percentage in the BVC coming into this game. A minimum one and a half attempts per game. And this one stripped away and stolen. Now Erford up the floor, and she nearly carried that basketball. Kaitlin Kimmel has been really solid defensively tonight. She created that steal a moment ago. This is her right here. For three. And off to the right, Kaufman the long rebound. Good effort there from Kaufman, although the Eagles may be a bit sluggish to track that one down. Brinkman will try a three. Too strong off the glass. Up ahead for Crow, and it's off her hand, and then a bit of a push there on Car Carly Brinkman, who took that ball away. The shot was a bit hard the last time at Ottawa Grand Forest, but I really liked the play. Fake the pass, get the defender to jump into the passing lane and free up your jump shot area. The ball was shot a little bit hard, but I really liked how she set that up. Oh, Addie Crow at just three points in this game. Hit a big three late in the first half, but also has three fouls. And that has certainly limited her impact today. Kaufman gives it off to the cutting Brinkman bucket and one for Brinkman. Good luck there from Kaufman. Her inside move and Brinkman sliced to the rim and laid it in. Two good plays there. First of all, Brinkman to understand the opening and go to the goal and second Kaufman to find her with the ball and then enough strength to score and go to the free throw line. Nicely done by Carly Brinkman who's up to five points in this game. Brinkman, of course, the junior guard. Able to knock that one down from the line. It's back to two. Hope you weren't expecting a blowout either way. I don't think we're going to see that. These two teams going back and forth. Kirk had good contest from Brinkman. Made her use up her dribble. Forced it down low to Dehart. Dehart. Couldn't get it to May. Good recovery by Brinkman. Steals it away. Up the floor for Kaufman. And then nearly taken away by Emma Hooper, who cut off that pass at the last moment. Or else Kaufman maybe would have been running to the rim. Great anticipation of the ball the last time to get the steal at the other end, making it the 11th turnover for Liberty Benton in the game. They averaged just over 10 a game. We still have at least 12 minutes left in this one. For the lead, Kimmett. Off the front of the rim. And Girk in the rebound, and that's a foul down low on the Titans. 
Kemet with a little bit of space, decided to shoot the three. Got to go get those. You know, go, you go pressure the rebounder. Yes, she got called for a foul, but it's a good foul. It's the second here of the quarter. And Megan Horstman has to check out. She also has three fouls, just like Addie Crow for LB. It's a strong rebound and strong hands by Gherkin is what printed the foul then. A little bit of pressure here. Gherkin knows she still has a little bit of time, but has to accelerate into the front court. Cooper up top. Cooper tried to give it right back to Dehart. To the corner to May. Barbara does not shoot the three. Not giving Gherkin the space to shoot it either. Brinkman nearly got the steal. Gherkin pulled it back. Barbara, baseline, in trouble. Gave it off to Hooper, who with the left-handed runner, and Hooper gets it to run over the rim. Well, you get off of everybody else to try to help, and she's just smart enough to go to the goal and use the left-handed finish. Back to four with under three to go in the third. Kaufman. Behind the free throw line. Brinkman cut through the zone that time. They picked her up better. Brinkman guarded by Dehart. Kaufman, the pass to Wrecker. Blocked three ball by Barbara. Who's this off of? It's off Barbara, but still, great closeout for the block shot. That she did. I think the release was a little bit slow from Savannah Wrecker than what she normally would do if she eyed that one, but. Still good block, and ball remains with Arlen Randor. Kaufman, difficult catch, inside drive, and over the top, wouldn't fall down. Kirk at the rebound, and Kaufman, good closeout. Make that bounce pass difficult. So I'll be into the front court with a four-point lead. Dehart shoots a three. Confident stroke, popped out. Trying to save it in. It's off Wrecker, out of bounds. Here's Emma Hooper, 5'6". She's a point guard, averaging 4.4 rebounds a game. And you saw what, why right there. She hustled into that one. And the ball went out of bounds. Off the tight, as Erford comes back in. Frick has done a really nice job in her minutes on the floor. Big time impact player for OG. Erford, see if she finishes out this third quarter. Deep in the corner to Gherkin. Lobbed it out top, dangerous pass. Hooper comes away with it. And again, the left-handed runner, it popped out for Hooper, and then she reached in on Kaufman after the miss. There she was again, penetration dribble, the left-handed push in the lane. That one spun off the rim. Oh, Kaufman rebound, hence the foul. Never mind, that foul's not on Hooper, it's on Dehart. That's even worse for LB, her fourth. And so Dehart with four, Crow with three. Late in the third. Just three team fouls on the Eagles, two on Titans here in the, the third stance. Now Barbara and Gherkin will have to play big down low. Two on one for the Eagles here inside May. May off the glass, wouldn't go down. Gherkin had it blocked from behind by Kaufman, who's running up the floor. Hooper gets back to defend. Kaufman goes down, lost the possession. Then Barbara, you know, right on the center court line, taken back, stripped by Hooper. It is Bedlam out there. Gherkin inside will lay it in on the run. Wow. <laughs> That was up and down. There was a whole bunch of things I should have wrote on my stat page. I didn't have to write them down. It was happening so quickly. Either way, it turns out to be a six-point eagle lead. That's a big swing, because there could have been two points either way there. Kaufman the jumper and stays down. What your senior leader does. Scores to kind of calm the situation. And now let's see how Liberty Benton chooses to play the last minute of the quarter. Needed that jumper. Nine for Kaufman. Cooper gave it off to May, had her pass tipped. And take it away. That's Liv Grothaus with the steal, and she's fouled. 
away from Megan Gurkin, 5'10 freshman. And we saw earlier in the game, back in quarter number two, Ottawa Glendorf chose to run a minute and a half off the clock and take the last shot in the opening half. 30 seconds left in this quarter. Let's see how they play this one. Carson Herford on the left wing. Brinkman back into the game after her short break. Roadhouse out top. Extra pass, Brinkman open. And sailed the three. Off target, Barbara with the rebound. Couple seconds left, Hooper up the floor. Hooper threw it down low, too hot to handle. LB couldn't get any more points before the end of the quarter. But they lead 31-27 as we head to the fourth on WLSN. Tonight's instant replay is sponsored by Structure Outdoor Ohio by Holtz. Let Structure Outdoor Ohio bring your indoors out. On the Finley Truck and RV scoreboard, 31-27. Eagles in the lead over the Titans. Time for a stat check with Mark. Ottawa Glendor, 2 of 19, 8 of 19 from the inside the two-point range. They are 2 of 10 from outside the three-point land. They are 5 of 7 at the free throw line. Liberty Benton 11 for 17 from 2. Three of eight from three. They are 0 for 1 from the free throw line. LB is now leading in rebounding 16 to 14, but also in turnovers 13 to 9. Thank you, Mark. Kevin Peel, Mark Shine with you here. And LB, the Eagles hosting the Titans. A low pass, Brinkman slicing inside. Good finish from Carly Brinkman to start off this fourth quarter two point game. Flashed into the lane and got Gherkin off her feet and was able to score around her to make it a two-point game. Eight points for Carly Brinkman today. Her and Katie Kaufman approaching double figures. Kaufman with nine. Bounce pass, Gherkin over the top, too strong. Went over the top of Kimmett, who again continues to defend Gherkin so nicely in this game. Listed at 5'10", giving up about three inches. And Gherkin's a bigger, stronger body, but she still played very well, has Caitlin Kimmett. Kaufman and Gherkin down low. But they're staying perimeter-oriented. Kimmett rises, hits the three! Caitlin Kimmett gives OG the lead back at 32-31. deep on that one, out near the volleyball sideline. Buried that three ball to take, put her team up. They've scored the first five points here of the quarter number four. Zero hesitation, too, for Kimmett. Hooper, difficult catch. Round to Barbara. Does not take the three. Hooper lobs it down low. Gherkin has the layup. And LB right back in front by one. First of all, Gherkin's position in low post was outstanding that time. And second, the pass was right in a real house so she could take it up and use it. Two excellent plays. Kaufman behind the free throw line. Brinkman inside, blocked by Barbara. Stood her ground and swatted the shot. That length inside, Lindsay May, Barbara, Gherkin, Crow, they all got good size. DeHart when she's in the game. Crow and DeHart battling foul trouble, as we mentioned at the end of the third quarter. DeHart with four and Crow with three. Gherkin, difficult drive, forces that up on the glass. She's fouled and heading to the line. Really good move by Gherkin to go across the lane that time and use her left hand, which drew contact. This will be just free throws number two and three in the basketball game for Liberty Benton. To the Lee's famous recipe chicken free throw line and First one is good for Gherkin. Did you believe Kimmett? We talked about her defense. First foul of the night. Yeah. Had a really nice basketball game. Scored some points too as Gherkin makes both free throws, giving her 20 points in the game. She averages 23. Approaching it quickly. The lead was short lived for the Titans. Down low, Kaufman. Gherkin just stood her ground, didn't want to foul, and Kaufman muscled up and in with the layup. She used her left hand to very efficient move that time. 
her and Kimmett in double figures. Kaufman now with 11, Kimmett with 10. There's a difficult catch, and Gherkin had it blocked going to the rim. Lobbed it up ahead, dangerous pass. Addie Crow trying to save it in. It's batted into the Titans bench. Roadhouse will log some more minutes here in this fourth quarter for OG. Titans a little bit fortunate there. That pass was one she probably wished she hadn't have made once she let it go. It got knocked out of bounds by the Eagles. Kaufman battling for position with Gherkin. Carson Erford had it lodged loose, tried to save it in. And it was saved in. Looked like LB had the turnover. OG takes it right back. Now Kimmett another three. Kimmett won't go. Gherkin the rebound. Looked like that was going to fall. Yeah, that was a really good look, and they scrambled around and lost her at the top of the circle. The way she has shot it so well to see if we get an LB timeout. Good timeout here taken by the Eagles. 35 34, Eagles in front. Fourth quarter action on WOSN. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima. Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's is the sponsor of your free throw line today. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. Big possession for LB, 434 to go, Mark, and a one-point game. Of course, this one gonna come down to that final possession, it certainly appears. Each team has used two timeouts in the basketball game, so they have three remaining. See what Coach Lee wanted to do with this timeout. Thinks it's a big offensive possession, obviously. Gherkin forced to pass, stolen by Brinkman. She's on the deck and did save it to Erford. Up the floor, Kaufman lays it in for the OG Lee. Big hustle play that time by the Titans to get in the basket. Kaufman's made her last three from the field. She's up to 13. Big fight on the fourth, that 50 50 ball. Have to find a way to win those down the stretch, and OG won a big one. Barbara, an open three. Too strong, rebound for May, but then went through the hands of Gherkin and a turnover. That was Barbara's first attempt from the field in this game. It was open, she had a good look yeah. at it. And really, OG had read the scouting report. They had closed out on her all game, in particular, to prevent that three. We're under four minutes to go. It's time for a break. Titans 36, Eagles 35. Today's scoreboard sponsored by Finley Truck and RV, your complete automotive experience at competitive prices. Competitive prices there. A very competitive game here at Liberty Benton. 36-35, Eagles trailing the Lady Titans. Coming out of this timeout. I feel like Coach Yance drawing up out there. Well, I'm curious if he's going to make a Liberty Benton play man-to-man. -man. They played zone the entire basketball game, and if that's what he wanted, that's what he got. Eagles come out and man up. Gherkin down low. LB wanted a walk, no turnover. Of course, it is much, much too early to put the ball in a deep freeze type situation, but you can be patient and get the looks you want. Back cut. And oh, just no. out of the reach, she was open. Megan Horstman, who is one of those players that's been in foul trouble today with three for OG, and that bounce pass just got away from her. Yeah, read it just exactly right. Cut was good, the pass was just a little bit strong, but a really good play. You know, if this comes down to a foul situation, the Eagles have not come out of the foul in this quarter, and OG only won. So if you get to the situation where you need to foul to get the ball back or put your opponent at the free throw line, we're a long way away from that for either team. Yeah, we're gonna be scrambling. Someone's gonna be scrambling. Crow gave it off. May open three. May wouldn't fall. Rebound, Kaufman pulls it down. Key rebound there for Kaufman with a couple Eagles swarming. Well, the Titans did a pretty good job of checking out that time in the long arms of Katie Kaufman to go get it. Brinkman, difficult spot, overthrew the pass, and fortunately for OG's sake, ended up in the hands of Savannah Wrecker. Just 
Great individual pressure. Brinkman lobs it to the corner where Kaufman was. Horstman drives. Horstman inside drive for Horstman. She picked a great time to find her first points of the game. She wasn't able to catch that pass and score the last time. That time she was able to turn the corner and beat the defense off the bat. 4-0 OG, 4-1 LB. That was a good play by Brinkman because if she doesn't knock the ball out of bounds, Gherkin's standing behind two screens again looking three. Horstman and Wrecker will check out temporarily. Liv Grothaus back into the game. Carson Erford back into the game as well for OG. As they try to make a couple stops defensively. Gherkin, not enough touches lately for Gherkin. Missed that shot. Kimmett did not let her get to the rim. Erford inside, draws the foul. Right idea for Erford going inside. You know, sometimes, uh, Kevin, when players come off of uh, lower body injuries, knees, ankles, whatever, they're a little bit hesitant. She has shown none of that this evening in her first action. And she does have five points today, but her impact on the defensive end has been so critical. A couple key steals in that first half to help out the Lady Titans miss that free throw. Titans are now five of eight from the free throw line. They shoot just 56% on the season. Two possession game though after that make for Erford. 39-35. Eagles find some offense at a big time. DeHart. And Swan, yeah. Harley Brinkman with the defense. Very active defensive player. In fact, a very active player on both ends of the floor tonight has been Carly Brinkman. And this is a must score possession for the Eagles. Also, it'll turn into a following game. Crow. And Gherkin was fouled. Well, that's okay. That's, yep. that's just your second foul. In fact, uh, if you want to look at it this way, the Titans still have two fouls that they can commit before the Liberty Bent Eagles get to the free throw line. So if you feel a little bit out of position, you can foul, and it won't cost you to take the ball out of bounds. Only the second foul on Kimmett as well. Tried to get it back to Gherkin, saved inbounds. Who's going to get this basketball? And yeah. there's a foul. I think it's going to Kimmet. be on, yeah, Kimmett went low to get the basketball. And took the legs out from underneath Gherkin. That was the call. And the way the official rule book reads, that's the correct foul. Now we're going to get a timeout. Yeah, Coach Lee. 107 remaining, takes a timeout. 39-35, OG in front, coming back for the finish on WOSN. We're pleased to announce new pricing for WOSN streaming service for only $8 per month. You can watch WOSN from anywhere at any time. Sign up today at app.wosn.tv. Also available on Roku and Apple TV. 39-35, and you're betting the Eagles for drawing something up in that timeout. 107 to play. They still need a basket. Or a couple. But... Certainly LB with limited fouls. That's going to come into factor here. This one lobbed out of bounds. Crow was trying to cut behind the play. And it's out of bounds. A turnover for the Eagles. Well, that was because Carly Brinkman was right where she was supposed to be to disrupt the lob pass. Nobody touched the basketball, so it comes out of bounds on the sideline. Going to get a sub in. Matt Roadhouse will check in here for Horstman. And the Eagles will also bring in Elise Hooper, the senior. Now this is what we talked about earlier. Eagles only have one foul, so if they want a foul to get the basketball back and make a D-Hart shoot free throws, they got a long way to go. 
Dehart does not want to foul. That would be her fifth. Down low. Layup. Oh, and a big time layup. There for Carly Brinkman, who was all alone. The lead is six for OG, their largest of the game. Dehart three. Short. Rebound. Hooper inside and puts it in to save their chances here. Hooper with 44.8 seconds and a quick 30 second timeout. But how about OG? Kaufman, they couldn't foul her, and then she looks up the floor and finds Carly Brinkman at the yes. biggest time for the Titans. As you said earlier, DeHart could not foul her because she would have fouled out of the basketball game. So Brinkman's player left her to come and help on the penetration dribble. Really nice pass and good finish inside. If you look at the game reset, the uh, Titans have two timeouts for many. The Eagles have one. OG has committed three fouls in the quarter, and Liberty Benton just one, and the possession arrow favors Liberty Benton. Throw in on the baseline here. Kimmett will trigger it in. OG will try and draw up a play to get the ball in. They're struggling to get it in right now. Grothaus does get it, throws it up the floor. Great play there by OG. And Liberty Benton's got a foul, and Kimmett is fouled by Hooper. See, they have to do that three more times before they put Ottawa Glandorf to the free throw line with 37.2 left. Mark brought it up a couple minutes ago. That's going to be a big time factor down the stretch, especially if the Eagles are trailing, and they are. Timeout if they need it. Into Kaufman. Oh, nearly stolen by May. But now she's got a foul, and she can't. Erford will get rid of it. Up top, got a foul here. They're losing desperate time, and Kim and foul. Keep away by Hooper. That's her second. Pass to basketball before the defense has the opportunity to get to you to foul. And then make it a snap pass on a line, not something up in the air that will go soft and be stolen. Bounce pass into Erford. Erford fouled by May. That's her fourth. So May and Dehart now with four for LB. The next one puts him at the free throw line. Well, the Titans have taken down some serious time, though. Get it into Erford right away, and May fouled, and that's it for Lindsey May. This will put. Carson Erford to the free throw line where she is, what, one for two this evening? Mm -hmm. That's what I have, is that correct? Yep. Okay. Sometimes you get caught up in a game and... <laughs> you miss one or two. Yeah, that's good to see. Her team tonight is a six of nine from the free throw line. This will be their tenth foul. Foul shot. As you see the replacement coming in, Sophia Barbara. Lee's famous recipe chicken free throw line could result in a Titan victory if they can close out this game from the stripe. They'll be still in. It's a two possession game, even if she makes both free throws. Clutch. Erford hits the first. And up to seven points now. What a return for Carson Erford. One more. Nice. Hit that one as well. She's three for four from the strike today. Lead is six. Now Eagles got to hurry. Here's where you can foul if you're Ottawa Glendorf because you do not put them at the free throw line. Gherkin. Hooper. Got to get the shot off here. Force it down low. Dehart blocked by Kaufman. Great defense and the OG Lady Titans going to come on the road and earn a win over Liberty Benton. Trailing by four at the end of three. The Titans find a way to close this one out. 43-37. What a finish there in that fourth quarter. 16-6. The Lady Titans outscored the Eagles in that fourth quarter. They got a lot of really good shots. Their defense was outstanding. And they did just exactly what they do. Come in here on the road and and get a big win like that one. Let's talk about some numbers really quickly here. Ottawa Glandorf comes all the way back to shoot 13 of 25 from the field, and much of that came in in the fourth quarter when they were 5 of 6. They were 3 of 11 from the three-point line, 8 of 11 from the three-point three line, and 8 of 11 from the three-point line. Uh, LB, 13 of 23 from two-point range, 3 of 11 from three, 
They made just two of their three free throws this evening. LB won the rebounding battle 16-19, but they had uh, 18 turnovers and just 10 for or 16 turnovers and just 10 for Ottawa Glendale. The beat goes on for the OG Lady Titans, now 5-0 and on the season. A heartbreaking loss for LB, falling to 4-2. and two. They knew this was going to be a tough stretch for them in non-conference play. Lots to learn for this team. They're going to have a special season, but as for tonight, the Titans find a way. Well, you know what I like about this, Kevin? These two teams choose to play good competition. Now, we're in the beginnings of your league schedule, and they're going to take a break from the league schedule. Oh, we want to play a game. Well, let's find somebody a little bit less competitive. Let's get a W. Everybody feels good. Not these two teams. They chose to play good competition. That only makes you better as the season goes along. Certainly, and these two teams could meet down the road later on as well. Always a special matchup between Ottawa Glandorf and Liberty Benton. The Titans outscore the Eagles 16 to six in the fourth quarter on the road to win this game, 43-37. Thanks so much for tuning in to this presentation, of Girls High School Basketball on WLSN. For our entire fantastic crew, my partner Mark Shine, I'm Kevin Peel saying good night from Liberty Benton. Yeah.